these turtles are unique participants in Renovrisk Cyclones, a European research project that aims to better understand and predict these meteorological phenomena. Cyclones draw their energy from the sea. Reunion Island and the countries of the Indian Ocean are affected every year by these cyclones, sometimes with devastating results. In Calonia, near Saint-Leu, Mathieu takes care of India, a loggerhead turtle. Now she's almost 18 inches tall on the nose, he says. India arrived at the Sea Turtle Observatory a few months ago. She was injured, but now she's cured, she's being released back into the open sea near Oman. India is equipped with a GPS device that will send the water temperature at various depths back to researchers. The turtles in this program are an incredible asset, just to be able to collect the depth-related temperature data that will allow Renovrisk scientists to fine-tune their cyclone forecasting program. Renovrisk has a total budget of 1.5 million euros, 85% of which is covered by the EU and the remaining 15% by Reunion and the French state in equal parts. France is piloting the project, in which Madagascar, Mozambique, the Seychelles and Mauritius are all taking part. Across the southwest Indian Ocean basin, 15 countries are benefiting from the programme. Specialists at Matteo France in Saint-Denis are studying the data from the turtles. It gives them details of the temperature of the water up to a depth of around 300 metres. They're taking an innovative approach. They say that because of climate change, cyclones are likely to become stronger, hence the importance of combining meteorological and oceanic data. Visually, cyclones are very aesthetic, but at the same time we know that if it ever hits inhabited areas, we know at the same time a lot of suffering is generated. I work with the devil's beauty. Cooperation between the partner countries is another pillar of the project. Eliza, a seismologist, comes from Madagascar. We communicate uh, uh... Between our we share the results of our findings, the information from the turtles, for example, from the seismic observations from the GPS, and then we combine everything to try to understand and forecast cyclone meteorology. India joins about 10 turtles already released, carrying on their backs the hope and means of telling us more about cyclones and the sea.